By the end of this video, this bus will be a different color. And I'm not playing games, I'm not trying to tease you. By the end of this video, there'll be a different color on this bus. We're finally at that day where we are pretty much wrapping up all of the paint and primer. I just have to get this put back together, get those deleted out, get that primed, and then we're just gonna give a good sand across the entire bus. The goal by the end of the day, today, is going to be to get this entire thing taped off, sanded, primed, 320 grit sand, just everything 100% ready to go, so that tomorrow morning when we wake up, we immediately start painting in the cool of the day. Goal today, prep, tomorrow, paint. Oh man, I, I can't wait to show this color. And actually, we did a test piece right here the other day, and it wasn't even like the correct base of paint, and whew, looking good. So in order for us to paint, we have to get that list done. Top emergency deletes, right there. Sanding center rear, that's right there. Prime rear cab area. Yeah, as you can see, it's not actually that much. We just gotta make sure that we do this part right because this is the part that matters. But I'm gonna get welding and getting these window deletes done and uh, Luke's probably gonna get sanding and doing some stuff because like we said, paint tomorrow. Have these top ones completely dry at this point and they're ready for a second coat of bondo and then we can get them really fine sanded out with uh, a better grit sand right now they're just filled in with kind of a filler putty uh, which is gonna be able to bridge the gap but at this point uh, the goal is i'm gonna start at this corner of the bus and go all the way around the bus to the other side and just check every single panel and make sure that it is exactly what we want it to be because right now we put so much prep work into the body of the bus that um, I'm always in that theory of just give it the extra hour, just give it that one extra little push, make sure it's perfect. So I'm gonna start here, go all the way around, make sure it's 100% ready to go. Then I'm gonna start taping the bus off, get it completely taped off, ready for paint. Shouldn't find too many mistakes, but that last little bit is always what makes the difference. Got one side of the bus kind of went through and done. You can see some of this red uh, putty on here. It's called spot putty. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm filling in some of the little tiny air bubbles that kind of pop through the Bondo. It'd be really hard to even show you on camera because it's kind of a feel thing. Um, you gotta get really close. But essentially I went down through and felt around and then found all the spots that I wanted to fix a little bit, got them done. I also found a few spots that we need to actually put some more Bondo to kind of get rid of a ridge that was kind of missed a little bit. But one side is kind of down and through, so now I gotta start moving over onto the hood. Keep making my way around and checking panel by panel. Now one thing that Dale here, if you haven't met Dale, he was kind of uh, talking to me about just before, is the idea of like, is this necessary? And I think it's a good point that he brought up, and the truth is no, what I'm doing here is not necessary for every bus build. If you're watching this video and you're thinking like, man, I really wanna do a bus conversion, do I have to also do this? Uh, no, this is my personal choice of the look and design that I'm going for. Could you do this? Yeah, and you can put the effort in all the way. But you could have also left the rub guards, you could have also just sanded off the, gl the gloss coat and then just painted it. I mean, there's a lot of different options out there for what you can do. I'm just showing what I'm doing. So take that into account when you're watching these videos and you're thinking, is this how far I have to go into a bus build? No, it's uh, completely what you wanna do. I'm just sharing my experience. So. I'm gonna get back to moving around the bus and keep going because 
I really am so excited to paint this thing and I know that I have to be patient right now and keep taking the time to do this right, but you guys are lucky. You're gonna see the pink color in like less than four minutes on the video. I have to wait like a whole nother day. my final inspection going down the bus, I found one of the rivet spots that popped. So it looks like uh, I'm gonna have to go back and weld this one spot and then get some Bondo on it. It's gonna delay it a little bit, but the entire day, the whole point is to make sure things were perfect and right. And uh, this is why we do it, because this would have popped down the road if I wouldn't have gone through and gave a really good check on every single spot and uh, gave everything that good last walk through. So, uh, you know, when you're putting the effort in, it's uh, worth overdoing. So I'm gonna get this guy welded up continue down the side I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely we could be gazing at the stars but now it feels just like I wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you even though I wanted to I should be trying something new but now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark, it's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go I feel alone, and I'm just singing mm, mm, mm. It should have been you Another time, another place, I just know mm, It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let go Sometimes I just don't know what to do It should have been you It's gonna take a while You look miserable Oh, I hate working on buses And for anyone out there who has never watched a video before I am completely joking I absolutely love working on buses How's those forearms feeling? You know, after so many buses <laughs> Jack. Yep. <laughs> this is a mini bus. This takes half the effort. Literally. <laughs> Do you know what today is? Today is paint day. I'm going to take this hose. I'm going to spray off the bus to get all this dust off. Try to give it a little bit of a clean. Needs a washing. And then we're getting painting and throwing some color on this bus. Dale! Do you know what today is? Do you know it's, what today it's is? It's paint day! That's right, it's, it's paint, paint day. day! This thing is no longer gonna be a gray Twinkie. Oh my gosh. This kid right here is more excited than a, than a 12th grader at her prom date. It's, it's kind of <laughs> true, I am very excited about this. Well, I gotta get this hose and get spraying so we can get to painting because I am probably the most giddy, anxious person ever to get this thing painted and uh, I gotta wait for the dew and the water to come off the side so we can actually get the paint on, but let's get this thing cleaned. The bus is washed and now all I gotta do is touch up some of these spots, get it all primed. Uh, I ran out of primer the other day so I had to get it done and then kind of just spray this real quick. Just get it all primed and uh, taped off. So once this is all done, then we could pretty much just start putting on color because the rest of the bus is prepped and ready to go. So this is kind of gonna be one of those crazy moments where, you know, I can't really, even in a time lapse, this is gonna happen fast where pretty much we're gonna paint and then since we did all the prep work and prepared properly, we can immediately start putting the windows in pretty much. The bumpers can go back on uh, and it's gonna pretty much go from like zero to 60 in terms of like looks pretty quickly. So let's get that all primed and then painted. What are you doing, Mike? Well, you see, we sprayed the bus down with a bunch of water 
to get the dust off. And I'm a little, uh, I guess we could all say we're a little impatient in terms of wanting to get sanding again to... That's not a bus dryer? This is a bus dryer. So some people <laughs> use air compressors. We use backpack leaf blowers. Everything is larger when you're, you know, building a bus. <laughs> I'd also like to say that the one reason why I'm actually using this is uh, I don't have my air compressor with me, but I want to make sure that I get a lot of air pressure in all the corners so that we blow the water out. So when we paint, we don't have like just water sitting in weird spots. So and it's also really fun. It is, but I also don't want to spray <laughs> dirt on the bus. So you got to be careful. Also my pro tip. Yeah. Oh yeah, pro tip from the supervisor. Start at the top and work to the bottom, not the other way around. Bus is dry. Now we're uh, just gonna start in a corner, go around, take some higher grit sandpaper and make sure that all of the spots are smooth. So like right here, perfectly smooth. Right here, a little rough. So we're gonna fix these spots up, go all the way around the bus, last time, last pass around, and then we get to throw on that wonderfully colored paint that is what color? Wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely We could be gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's aching We're ready to go And here's the game plan and job descriptions We've got Luke. Luke's job six is- 6'1", 180 pounds. Yeah, yeah, 6'1", <laughs> 180 pounds. Luke's job here is going to be rolling the paint on and helping paint the bus. We've got Dale, who is also here, and Dale is going to help us paint the bus. Dale's job is going to be also rolling and painting the bus. Then last up but not least is me, and my job is going to be also to paint. It's there's a lot of jobs around here and there's just, it's hard to divvy them all up, but pretty much we're all gonna start painting. Oh my gosh. Thank you, sir. It's time. <laughs> Let's open this thing. Uh, Imagine if they gave us the wrong color after all this. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> that was scary. Oh boy. <gasps> Dale, Dale, wait. Don't wait for Dale. Wait for Dale. Ready? That's oh. not the color we decided. That is definitely the color we decided. <laughs> that looks good, man. Oh, man. Oh, you can't see this way. It's in the shade. Let's go in the sun. Let's go over in the sun. Oh, man. And that's it when it's wet. So when it dries, it's going to get a little bit grayer with a... Oh, man. Luke. Pitter-patter. Let's pitter-patter. Oh, man. Hey, Mike. I know we've touched on this in our personal conversations, but today really is a milestone for this build. Up until now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so emotional. I, I'm, I know we're no, all emotional. Up, in, up until now, you've been converting a bus. Starting today, you're building a home. That's true. Yeah, we're yeah. finally done with hey, every bit Bill, of demo. I, can, I, can I know. Pretty, I can get pretty deep if hey, I really Bill. want to. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I can't hold on. Take a breath. Mike. Mike. Guys, what day guys, is it? This is exciting. What day? Are right, we ready? Wait, is that where you want to start? I don't know if I want to start here. I just want to do it. Oh <laughs> man! Is it in black and white right now, or is it actually in color? Is it? That's did, up to you, Mike. Oh yeah. I think we're gonna do it in color. We're in color, everyone! Another time, another place. I just know. So you know, a lot of people are probably thinking right now, wait a second Mike, you put all this work into prepping the bus, 
you made it perfectly smooth, you sanded and bondoed, and now you're rolling it and brushing it. And yeah, that's exactly what you're seeing us do. And the main reason why is because yes, we could have sprayed this, we could have taken it to a professional sprayer, we could have sprayed it right here and made a little paint booth. But what I wanted to do is I actually used the same paint I used on Navi. The reason I'm doing it this is way- nostalgic? I am nostalgic, yes. <laughs> but also uh, I found that this paint that I'm using, uh, it it's an exterior paint. It's made for exterior use in this application on metal. I beat the crud out of my buses. I throw them up against trees. I back into things in the woods. So I know that this paint job, if I clear coated it and stuff, it's it's gonna take so much maintenance to keep it up. And I don't wanna have to do that. Whereas with Navi and the paint uh, that I put on that one, same one as this, if it like scratches the back corner cause I hit a bush, all I do is take this little brush, I go like this, and then I take a paintbrush and I brush it so that I match the strokes. And I can guarantee you, if you look at my green bus, you cannot tell where I've patched over the last four years because I just match the brush strokes. And uh, yeah, there's other ways to do it, but this is the way that I like to do it because of the way I know that I live my life. Um, if you're out there and you want to spray it, that's you what you do. Life. Yeah, you live your life, exactly. But okay. uh, I'm already calling it. You're just, this is going to look so good that you're just going to tow it behind Navi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can we? I didn't even think about that. We could tow. Yeah, dude, let's do that. <laughs> what? We sorry. could tow this bus behind Navi. <laughs> so Dale thinks it's a good idea. No, I think you're crazy. He always thinks I'm crazy, though. He supports me. <laughs> I know you. Come look at this. Like, you're painting that right now, and you don't even know. Like, I know your face is going to be... This is going to make your day, I'm telling you. Ready? Ready? Oh, man. <laughs> That's a beaut. Dale! What are you two clowns are doing over here? Now? We're looking at this. Look at this. Look at this, Dale. I want your reaction. It's going to be nice. This is only the first coat, Mike. I know. I know, and, it, and it's still wet, so it's still got, it's not exactly the final color yet. It's, you can kind of see it's darkening back here, but it is going to have a flat finish. I know that the bus is not done being painted, but me and Dale, Dale, we're being a little, we're being a little anxious and we just, just no we're being giddy uh, we are being yeah we're being we giddy want, no, we're being we giddy we want to put one of these windows in we're not gonna actually caulk it in we just <laughs> we literally just want to put it in place just to see what it looks like because we're so excited so let's let's put one in and see what it looks like and then then we're gonna have to pull it out but hey you know at least we know what it's gonna look like a little bit and then oh my gosh just imagine windows wood Oh man, marker lights, there's just like floodlights. Oh, there's so many things happening. It's amazing. Also, what's it gonna look like? You ready, Dale? Sometimes I just don't know what to do. It should have been you. All right, they're just taped in. There's no caulk. They're literally just painter's tape holding them in. But you get the idea. I mean, I'll just back away so we can all kind of see it. Let's just... Oh my gosh. Dale! I don't want to take I, him out. I, I just want to... I can go home now. Yeah, you can go home now, yeah. <laughs> oh man. That's sleek. Halfway through the day, half of the bus is painted. You know, we still got to do second coat, touches and edges, but... We have been working on other projects. That's true. Our other projects are we made lunch. So what we're going to do now is since me and Dale are so excited about this bus, we're just gonna sit in these chairs, eat lunch, and talk about what else needs to be done, where we should touch up paint, and just, I don't know, just appreciate. Just take a, a break. Yeah, yeah, just appreciate that it's painted, so. Wish you guys were here, but since I know. you're not, we get a dog and let's go, man. That's very true, all right? We're gonna stare at the bus for a while and then get back to it. <laughs> We just had lunch, obviously. Uh, I, I, we don't even want to work on the bus. We just want to keep looking at it. But it's about time for me to get the little paintbrush and start going through and actually getting all of this painted out, um, all the different seams. Because the truth is, from a distance, it looks great. But when you get up close, you know, we got all these marks and stuff. So we got to go around and now we got to start doing the detail. This is where the time comes in. The big change has already happened. Uh, now it's, you know, back to the details and making it, you know, finish out right.
as me and Dale are sitting here watching the color change as the light hits it and then the shadows come in, and we just thought like, yeah, I know there's still painting to do, but like, how good would it look if the bumper was on the back? So Dale came up with a really good idea. And what was your idea, Dale? Hey, Mike, what day is it? It's bumper day. It's bumper day now. So let's go get the bumper and put it on, because like, why not? Who doesn't want to see the bumper? I mean, the bumper, the windows, it's just uh, so exciting. And, and the bumper, we put it on, it's not going to cause any issues at this point. It's, it's ready to go back in, so why not? What do we think? Oh man. Dale, that was a good idea. That was just even more motivating. Like, if painting it wasn't motivating enough, that sure was. Thanks for your help, Dale. That was a good idea. Whatever I can do to help, Michael, you know that. You want to get the front grill on now? No, alright, because we still got a lot of painting up there to do. Alright, so the bus is pretty much completely primed. Thanks to Luke and Dale for helping out. Uh, we still have quite a bit of work. I'll show you right around the front here. So we still have to, you know, do the inside gaskets of all of this. Um, you know, we still gotta get some stuff in here. You can't even see that because the adjustment of the lighting. And I still gotta paint this entire side of the doors. But pretty much, I mean, we've got most of it done. So painting is not off the list, but I hope everyone out there is happy that you finally know what color we're doing, uh, what it's gonna be looking like. And just so you can get a picture, we still got wood to put on, a rooftop deck to put on. I mean, this thing is gonna really start changing now because at this point, as Dale said before, this is the point where we are no longer deconstructing a school bus, we're building a home. And uh, that starts in the next episode. And we're gonna start putting lights back in, rooftop deck, side wood, and get that inside spray foamed and start building. So I uh, just wanna say thank you for being patient, patient for us to be painting this. And uh, I can't wait for the next episode. I, I don't even wanna edit this one, honestly, because I just wanna keep working, but you know, gotta keep moving, gotta keep going. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like I wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me.